Hello guys and welcome back to iTechnology Reviews. Today we're gonna do Ride Zero. So it will boost and double our performance. We will use Intel SSD 520 series and 240 gigs of storage. So for an example, let's say you want to transfer a file of two megabytes. So one megabyte will be on a SSD and one will be on the other. So that the transfer will be cut in half if you use, for example, if you use a single SSD so you have to use for this operation two identical SSD two identical series two identical uh, gigs of memory because this uh, 240 gigs will be shown after you will make and activate write zero will be shown as uh, 480 gigs of uh, storage we will put on the rampage extreme and uh, the producer says only four you can put in right only four ssds to double your speed and double your capacity so first thing is to go in your bios and modify a pch storage configuration the option from ahci to raid now you can see the bolt Intel in this and now after the first image will appear hold on to control and press I keyboard and now press it I press it again it will uh, tell you a second or two uh, mostly will tell you to press again Control plus I uh, key and now if you can see guys I have these two SSDs non write so these are identical create write volume or um, I have two options or uh, exit now I clicked the create write and now it's good the producer says volume zero if you can see our capacity has increased to 400 and 47 gigs and now we will hit enter to so volume zero and now as trip size put 128 128 kilobytes and now after the right zero stripe has uh, been configured create volume um, I uh, formatted full formatted the Intel's before and I full formatted them so now uh, I have a clean two Intel's now all data I don't have data so it won't be a problem but if you have data be careful and be aware that this function um, will automatically delete all your data in both um, SSDs now it's in right zero level you can delete if you want you can reset no right and make uh, the two intels so it's uh, pretty awesome and now it's bootable you see i have 447 gigs at strip 128 kilobits now exit you want to sure press press yes you will need to install your system and uh, most of all you will need to make um, a USB bootable USB for right drivers so now guys now uh, you, you can see I have the Intel volume zero now so I remove all my hard disks for protection of my data because that operation I don't want to risk anything with uh, with that operation now I have only the DVD writer and the boot so for example you can put your other hard disks after the Windows installation is not a problem for this be aware that you will need to to make a right boot uh, for drivers for the Windows installation so uh, you will need to do it from your disk your manufacturer disk so now guys here in the installation of windows is 447.1 gigas so now you can uh, split like you want the windows partition and uh, work with it
so guys i didn't load up the right uh, drivers because windows 8 has them integrated but it at uh, the installation if you have problems and windows will not install you have an option there right below format that uh, will load you the drivers all you have to do is load uh, your card or usb and that's it uh, load your drivers and the windows will install so now what we let's see what we have done what's the performance of ride zero so uh, this is in the left we have the initial benchmark with the intel ssd normal with windows installed if you paid attention we put uh, the free ssd one with windows the other intel with independent and the other samsung independent so this is the window the intel sorry with windows the intel independent and the samsung the samsung has a nice score and now we got to compare it uh the intel ssd solo with windows with the right zero so this is in the right the performance we obtain with right zero and i if i didn't test it as good as i uh, should have been tested because i made only one benchmark but i want to show you when i copy that file so let's copy it So we have obtained 90 seconds of copying in uh, the partitions. So now from the that two partitions of the right zero, let's copy that file again. That exactly uh, 6.5 gigs of file. And let's start. eight seconds and point 20 i think because i stopped it just a little bit uh, after um, it barely finished so uh, this is a quite performance right eight seconds instead of 90 seconds so i got to tell you guys i'm loving this right zero um it's very very fast So now guys, an important thing is Intel Rapid Storage Technology driver. You will need this driver because you have some settings here. And if you see, we will go to Manage and then click Advanced. And here, right catch buffer flashing, disable it. So just disable it and at the catch mode, put right back and select Yes. So this is the common thing for RAID 0, this will enhance your performance of your SSDs but also you, if you have a power loss it will uh, corrupt your whole data. So I have zero errors if you see here and I discover some, uh, some interesting things. When I installed this is so this is the benchmarks for the intel ssd solo with the system installed and i had 137 this is independent without uh without any os put on the the ssd and this is the samsung ssd 850 evo um, and now this is the rate at the rate we obtain 165 milliseconds and 175 with the uh, windows just installed now after installing softwares and programs and video editing programs and photoshop and whatever we obtain kind of uh, in this benchmark we obtain kind of a loss in results if you see the milliseconds in the access time uh, increased increased dramatically but here is the improvement the really improvement uh, for making this disabled and we will test it together 
the access time. We will re-enable it like it's in default mode, catch mode off. And now make the test for access time only. And let's see, it will be quick enough. So I don't like this access time because if you see this Intel here, uh, I had better results with the Intel Solo at uh, the reading. And plus I had lag problems, delay problems. And in the performance in the Intel Rapid Storage technology, I disable it and I recommend to you to disable link power management and I obtain some kind of performance. So um, let's re-enable in the manage on the SSD, disable the flush, the right catch buffer and the right back, it's important to enable the right back. And now let's test once more the access time. So now look at the values, we have 0.037 0 uh, milliseconds, so it's very, very quick. We will achieve a nice result with um, just a Samsung SSDs uh, 850 EVO for sure will uh, manage a nice result and if you see here at the benchmarks in Samsung we manage to get 0 0.040 milliseconds and 0 0.033 milliseconds so I'm little worried about uh, this test so now I'm gonna risk my computer guys for you the right catch buffer flashing is disabled for performance and the right back it's activated and now let's do some rendering and uh, shut down, unplug, unplug the computer, we have a UPS but we'll push the UPS button to cut the power and let's see, it's rendering, yeah, and now let's see, I will lose my data or not, and the PC stop working, we have no image, so let's turn it back on, Okay, and let's see if Windows, if the files are, uh, are okay and run uh, integrity, integrity test. Because I seen a couple of videos on YouTube that users reported when, uh, when I'm plugging and uh, power failure, uh, they, lo they lost their data. So I seen a reviewer who lost his entire uh, 400 gigs of information of, of video files and he couldn't, uh, he couldn't recover them. So now we had a power cutoff and I can still produce the movies. I don't know if my data is corrupted. I will make a test with rapid interrapid storage technology. It has an integrity test. So you can test if the files suffered losses. And here you can make your integrity test and verify. Keeps your data healthy by identifying and repairing data inconsistent on your volume. And now it's in progress. So my, I'm a little worried because I obtained some delay in the windows loading at that point with uh, that uh, circles. Uh, I obtained a two seconds or three seconds delay and I don't like this lag, this, this delay. I don't know what it is, but uh, it certainly will do an advantage disabling the link power management and enabling the right back. So guys, this is the tutorial showing you and the only tutorial on YouTube for making right zero on Asus Rampage uh, Extreme 5. So if this tutorial help you, thumbs up guys, please uh, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews. Remember we have another the review for Samsung Evo 850 and uh, with boost it has that SSD is amazing, it has boost that reaches the right zero that we obtained 
here so guys subscribe i'm repeating myself subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews you got to love technology because technology is part of our lives thumbs up guys bye see you